man. This was my room right here. 21-year-old Carlos Correa is visiting what is left of his childhood home. And that's pretty much it. You know, that's, that's my old house. Is where it all started. It was a lot of work, man. Since I was a little kid, I was dreaming. select Carlos Correa. Harper, can shortstop Carlos Correa join the ranks of great number one overall picks? The Astros are calling up 2012's number one overall pick. It takes a while, you know, you don't just come up and crush it right away. So for them to think that he's going to be, uh, you know, come out and, and dominate right out of the chute, probably a little bit unrealistic given that he's only 20 years old. Here's the fastball, ground ball left side, going to be tough. Ramirez with the throw in the dirt and got him according to first base umpire Larry Vanover but this one I just might be reviewed very quickly with good reason yeah absolutely and there we get the safe sign so there's your first major league hit and first major league RBI for Carlos Correa highest stolen base and he has just hammered one to left field high and deep watch this one see ya Carlos Correa, his first Major League home run. Major League game. He drives this one a long way to right center field over Trumbo. Watching this one turn into a bomb for Correa. And welcome to Minute Maid Park. Line shot at the middle, diving Correa. They go, and this one is crushed to left field. Pitch is crushed to left. Two, three in the order, Kevin Kiermaier stings one, but diving stop Correa. Gets the out. Carlos Correa, a swing and a drive to left. And this game is tied. Into the corner. Springer can run. Gary Pettis is sending him home. Three to two, Houston. There goes the runner. There goes Correa. 
battle of shortstops, Houston's Carlos Correa was the winner in the American League over Cleveland's Francisco Lindor. Thank you, thank you. I'm celebrating my family right here because he was a team work and with, you know, the entire Puerto Rico is here. There's thousands of people out here supporting me, so I'm really grateful for that support. I think every single year our friendship grows uh, even more. Uh, inside the field, obviously, you guys can see everything that happens there. You know, turning double plays, having good times. Every time he hits a home run or I hit a home run, you know, we're like brothers in there. But off the field as well, that relationship is great. You know? We fight too. We fight a lot. You know, I show you we fought two days ago on the plane. Yeah. And then five minutes later, I'm like, that's why I love you because we fight. And then five minutes later, we talk like nothing happened. So you know, we we a little bit of everything you can see, but you know, the relationship keeps growing. You don't know the facts. We obviously saw the pose and the it's it's my time. <laughs> yeah. Who who are you talking to? Are, are you talking to your teammates? Are you talking to the fans? Or are you talking to nah, the world just, in general? Just to my teammates, because you know um, when the playoffs start, they always tell me it's your time now um, to go out there, hit homers, this and that. So you know they told me to hit the watch, and uh, when I hit the homer, uh, I did in Chicago the first time on my own. And then today they told me yeah, if you hit a homer, you know with the it's your time, so. This ball is up and out. Astros on top. In the air, center field. Correa's watching. This is Pedro Gomez, who is with Carlos Correa, who was the number one pick in the year that Buxton went number two. Pedro? And that year was 2012. It was only a year ago. You're in your first year of professional baseball. You're the youngest player here at in either squad. What is it like right now to be a member of the minor league system in the Houston Astros? I mean, it means a lot. I mean, the Houston Astros are rebuilding right now. I mean, they got a lot of talented players in the minor league, so I think the Houston Astros will be a great team in the future. So we're looking forward to that and make the Houston Astros a better team. Carlos Correa, the, who wants to be the next superstar from the island of Puerto Rico, certainly Roberto Alomar, I know one of your childhood heroes. Carlos, thanks for your time. Thank you.